What's good, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, your favorite nappy headed producer with the fro. Back with another video. Today is going to be a simple, quick kind of sound design video because right now I'm really busy. Got a couple reviews I got to get done for products that are physical and virtual. And I just got a lot on my plate right now. Trying to figure that. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to make a quick little video for you guys of a popular video from way back, like a couple years ago, like when my uh, channel really started, that really blew up my channel. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make the Reese bass or in hip hop or trap word lingo goes the drake bass i still get a lot of questions about this and i don't have the original patch from that actual uh video to keep you asking me about it so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna show people how to make it again but this time i'm gonna use nothing but 3x oscillator yes 3x oscillator built inside fs studio with no added effects or anything we're gonna make the drake bass or reese bass inside fs studio so let's go ahead and do that right now so here we are inside the fs studio and like i said i'm gonna pull up 3x oscillator this comes with every version of fs studio it's like the most basic synthesizer inside of fs studio now a lot of people kind of write this synthesizer off but it is actually really really powerful if you know how to work your way around fs studio and you can make a ton of sounds using nothing but this and that just goes to show you that fs studio is like you know one of the best out there for that like i said it's been around since 2000 that's 20 years that's crazy so let's go ahead and make the drake bass now the drake bass compiles of two sounds essentially it's just a triangle wave and a sine wave and that's really it and there's a little bit of detuning so i'll show you how to do that inside 3x oscillator so first off we're going to start off with the first oscillator so we're going to turn both of these right here one two down or that's how you turn them off you can't really turn it uh, off but you just turn them down I'm going to turn it to a triangle wave, so you should get this. Okay, so there you go. First, that's the first step right there. Go ahead and turn it to a triangle. Now we're going to detune that triangle just a little bit to get kind of that wavy, kind of wobbly sound. So I'm going to just hold down the C note. Let me actually bring my off the door. Let's see, no, it's good. There we go. So now I'm just going to turn this detune up a little bit to get that kind of wavy sound. Now you go too far, it'd be too much. You just want just a little bit, so... So about 20 cents is pretty good. And also we're gonna bring down the octave down by one. So we're gonna bring it down to 12 and it should make it just a little bit lower. And already we have kind of that Drake bass sound already, but we can go a step further. We're gonna add in a sine wave. So we're gonna bring the sine wave up to, you know, match the sound of that. And we're gonna bring down the uh, octave all the way down. And we're pretty much almost there. Like, I mean, at this point, you pretty much have the sound right there. You're ready to go. But you can fine tune it just a little bit more to get get it, get it just more in a ballpark of, you know, what that the Reese bass sounds like. So we're going to go down here to the call icon. We're going to go to the amp envelope, the ADSR, the attack, the case, sustain, and release. We're going to turn that envelope on, and we're going to turn the attack all the way down. We're going to turn the hold all the way up, decay down, sustain down, and we're going to do a little bit of release. So now... And if you don't want it to be such a kind of a harsh sound, you can just boost the attack up just slightly. And that's just going to make it a little bit smoother coming in. But I say it depends on you up there, but that's really it. And then you need to turn the release up a little bit to give kind of like a little bit of release. But you know, you play with the release to taste, so. my scale zone you know and they say if you want to you can add in a the filter right here so the filter mod and you can kind of cut some of the highs out I say you go back and play with some of the detune Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. If you want to, you can add in some portamental and glide to it to kind of make it slide together. So, and just slide a little more pronounced. Add in mono and porto. So 
so yeah i mean super simple super easy i mean making a reese bass or quote unquote drake style bass right inside of fs studio using nothing but the 3x oscillator that shows you like, i see a lot of videos out there people using silent like my first video people using stuff like uh what else what is that the um uh, Electro X, Serum, all this other VSTs. When I was like, no, FS Studio has powerful synthesizers built into it where you can do these exact same sounds. You just need to know how to operate them. So, if you want to see more videos of me actually using like 3X Oscillator or anything else built inside of FS Studio to make some sounds, let me know. I'll see what I can do, see what I come up with, see if I can get stuff close to it, and just try to teach you guys. Because, like I said, I'm trying to get better at sound designing myself because I'm still a little rusty at it. So, I'm trying to get back into it. And I want to, you know, the best way to do it is actually work with like default stuff that's limited to see how far you can get. And how close you can get because that will make you a better sound designer at the end of the day so yeah definitely play around with 3x oscillator and any other default plug or any other stock plug-in or vst inside of fs studio because you'll be surprised on what it can do because fs studio is a very powerful synth despite on what a lot of haters and people be saying out there hey FS Studio is still one of the best in the game. I don't care what nobody say. That's why I still use it. So it is what it is. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys are like always. You know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Miss Different. Not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe, and views. With that being said, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Anything down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah. Have a good one, everybody. I'm out. Yeet.